mission. All go home. They were all I be decorated. Nice. No, we I cooked. Okay. I made it nice. If you're a fan of Bravo, you know exactly where I am, and you know how excited I am to be here. I am meeting up with the hostess with the mostest herself, Dorinda Medley, to talk about everything Ultimate Girls Trip Season 2 and how to make it nice. Bluestone Manor is a very special place. If you enter those doors, something happens. Welcome to Bluestone Manor. You finally made it. Finally. Thank you for having us. Come on in. What we would do is sort of tour the house, okay. give you a little history. You can ask questions, but I'm sure you really have questions about the Ultimate Girl. I yeah. have so many questions. Ultimate Girl, you, the house, everything. So let's go. Let's go. Please let's take start me. with the billiard room. Okay. So the house, we bought it in 2005. Oh. It's like six months before I got married, Richard gave it to me as a uh, wedding present because he knew I always wanted the house because my great-grandfather worked on it and my grandfather. But it was in complete disarray, so we had to kind of close it for three years and redo it. And I think what's very important about the house is we, we renovated it, but we really restored it. So did you always have an eye for decor and for making everything nice, or did it develop in all of your travels and your life? I think 100% living abroad influenced it. I mean, I think going to country houses and traveling through Europe and just seeing how people in Europe kind of layer colors. And also too, it's all about making it cozy and warm. I've created a tree that is a tribute to all year holiday. So this never goes, comes down. This is a it just yeah. makes me happy. And that's what you, I mean, your house should make you happy. Right? And it's also making America happy. Well, thank, well I hope so. I know I'm happy. Well, let's go into the okay. uh, blue room. Well, here it is. There's the famous peacock that Blue Star Manor Bourbon was fully made after. Can I just say, before we move on, this everything is far more stunning in person. Oh, really? I mean, this is just, it's everything. This is the place where we land late at night. Okay. And that's it's where we tell all the secrets. I always say, when you enter Speaking this room. Speaking of, yes. please Come tell on, me all down. the secrets. What made you think the lady was a lesbian? Her eyebrows. <laughs> so much that I need to know. First of all, how did you feel about hosting? Because I know you are the hostess with the mostest, but hosting well, all of these let's women. Let's see if everyone thinks that. Andy called up and he said, I have a great idea. And I kind of knew, I thought, I knew this was going to happen Aww. one day. How could they not, right? right? And he gave me the cast, and I was, you know, I had complete faith in Andy, but I did think, God, I don't know some of the girls. And here's the thing, I entertain all the time, but this is my second home, so it's really a country house, so I usually entertain Fridays to Sunday. Sure. But to have the girls up here for eight days, I felt very aware and very responsible because we pretty much here, every day had an action-packed day. Relay races, um, aerobics, Swimming in the pool, taking day trips. So, would you do it again, knowing that? A hundred percent. People just need good old housewifery again. Yeah. And the great thing about these girls are, listen, some you get along with better than others. You know, of course, it was a pressure cooker. Sometimes it was great. Sometimes you want to give up. Sometimes you just wake up in the morning and like, what did I do last night? And that's part of the process of mm -hmm. doing the show and being up here for eight days. But what I, I just think the audience is going to be so happy to see. You even said it when you came in. You had no idea. The yes, the extent. I mean, so now the audience gets to enjoy Bluestone Manor in a whole nother way. Can you tell that truth? A unicorn's going to show up. Birds of a feather flock together. I am not flocking with that bird. So what? happened with Vicky, dare I ask, and where are you guys now? I mean, when she came in at the beginning of the scene and said, Nick, what do you do here? To be honest with you, I do so much in New York. When I come up here, I just enjoy this. Right. This may not be your taste, mm. but it's not an old house in the middle of nowhere. Right. But she can't certainly can't be unhappy that I clapped back. I mean, you can't, no, you can't take a hit on knew. Blue Stone right. Manor. Exa and, exactly. Come on now, that Again, would just, Blue I gotta protect my girl. Blue Stone Manor is essentially a, a person. Blue yes. Stone Manor is a it's the it's Disney. A, it's, a, it's the it's, Disney of the Berkshires. It absolutely It's like is. making fun of Disneyland. You don't talk about Disneyland like that. Who has a return invitation? I'm dying to get Phaedra back up here and Eva. I said to Andy, we need to have the reunion up here. You Imagine should. if we had, 
The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip to Reunion yeah. at Bluestone Manor. We'll Why be right not? back. Yes. Would that be great? I mean, again, I don't Andy, I we should do that. There's a lot of conflict going on with eight women. The only conflict is you. Here is the famous dining room. Uh, it's, again, with, even more breathtaking with, in real life. And this is where you saw the famous fights between Luann and Bethany and yes. Ramona spilling the gravy and Sonia flipping. I mean, there's a lot Which of stuff. How, again, how do you like contain uh, yourself when things a, are being flipped and spilled? It's not easy. And, that was hard. That's, I mean, a huge. I, I do it for the audience. <laughs> I do thank, it for you. Thank you. Well, please, can you give me some tips on how to create a spread like this? Well, you know what? I love a beautifully set table, and I'm actually a China freak. I love China. And I always say to people that entertain, just have fun with it. Throw stuff together. You don't need to spend a lot of money. Just and color. Have I feel like that color. is the biggest takeaway. Now, do you do you risk the China when you know you have people who could potentially throw things? Or do you get the plastic? Well, I risk the china with the girls. <laughs> okay. Listen, I think china's meant to be used, but yes, I used yes. all my nice stuff when the girls okay. ran. Luckily, nothing broke. Thank goodness. That I know of. I think one of these disappeared, but. <laughs> we'll find you. <laughs> now we're gonna go to you lucky person. Where the face The face room! room. I mean, the room is not some It's room. like the mobsters, they go, you're, you're going down with the fishes. That's some nerve putting me in the fish room. Here we go, the famous oh. fish room. Although I've redone it since the original Luann days, but we still I have. I think it's great. <laughs> well, I don't care about the other girls. I am happy to stay in the fish room anytime. Yes. Dorinda, thank you so much for having us. This it has been was so such lovely. a pleasure.